take a picture of? Not yeah, I'm taking pictures. It's actually a video. Oh, it's a video? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Hey, it's Rick here from 28mm RPG. I uh, just came back from the Grand Con here. Um, yeah, the smear on the on the uh, face, that's uh, part of my part of my character, <laughs> Jack Burton. So I was, yeah, I was having fun, uh, you know, roaming around the uh, convention. Uh, some uh, pretty cool stuff there. Um, one of the one of the highlights is uh, Forrest Griffin was uh, on the stage and people were asking questions. Uh, Forrest really liked my costume. <laughs> he was he was pretty focused on me there uh, for a few times, uh, enjoying what he was uh, seeing of my. I had the gun and everything. I'll, I'll show you a picture of that later on. But, uh, but yeah, it was it was a it was a good uh, some uh, uh, snapshots here. Uh, one of his first opponents, uh, can't remember his name. I'll, I'll flash his name up here. Um, he's, uh, offhand. He was only in the UFC for a little while. He was a uh, first opponent that, uh, um, Forrest Griffin took on, uh, after his win, uh, against, uh, Stefan Bonner, uh, from the original, uh, Ultimate Fighter competition. And, uh. Yeah, and uh, he got choked out like, you know, something like uh, 22 minutes in or something like that. <laughs> and uh, uh, and uh, Forrest Griffin won that that uh, yeah, fairly easily. But uh, he he uh, this this guy here he runs uh, Champion uh, Gym here in town. So and uh, they do uh, they do MMA fighting and stuff, boxing, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, I was. Uh, really good, really good talk. A lot of people had a lot of questions and stuff like that. I didn't ask any questions because I, I pretty much, you know, uh, I watch a lot of MMA and stuff. So um, I, I can't remember everybody's name, and stuff like that. Um, wasn't really anything I could ask them. That it was like, eh. but uh, anyways, me, the wife had I had a good time here, uh, zipping around, checking out a lot of stuff. Um, and uh, here we are, roaming around in the uh, convention area. Uh, a lot of people took pictures with me. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but uh, it's the first actual convention I've been to. A long, long time. Long, long, long time. Um, so, anyways, a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of people, you know, selling toys. Uh, merch, that sort of stuff. Uh, lots of Funko Pops. Um, I don't see the peel of Funko Pops. There, there wasn't any Jack Burton Funko Pops, so I was not happy. <laughs> but uh, um, you know, a lot of interesting cosplay going on here. Here I am, just uh, wandering around, taking video of uh, of the area, having a good time. You know, mingling with. Uh, people once in a while. I think this was about the uh, um, third, some X-rated stuff here, of course. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how they get sent to a convention with kids and stuff like that, but uh, I guess, uh, I guess times are changing, so. Um, this place had a, a lot of uh, different rocks, uh, ornate, you know, crystals, that sort of stuff. Um, here we are heading over towards the uh, Star Wars, um, kind of like a little Star Wars scenario spot here. It was uh, pretty cool. I like this guy's uh, costume here. So uh, he's got the uh, he's got the uh, person on in the back, you know, holding on to him, uh, kind of like faking it out on you. You know, like, wasn't too bad of a of a gimmick going on there. It's pretty cool. Uh, cool looking Darth Maul. And uh, yeah, a lot of people either dressed up. Uh, I took some pictures in here. Um, I believe, yeah, I'll, I'll show you one here. Uh, enjoy. Uh, so this is what would happen if you had, uh, you know, Jack Burton in the situation when the uh, 
in the uh, trash compactor. So, uh, yay. <laughs> and like I said, a lot of Funko Pop kind of stuff. Uh, quite a quite a cool collection of uh, you know costumes in here from Star Wars, that sort of thing. Um, lots of uh, people um, creating dice. Uh, notice that there is a couple of companies here from <laughs> Abbotsford and this guy posing for me and <laughs> the camera is pretty good. He he was one of the one of the few people that recognized who I who I was cosplaying. Um, next year I'll I'll work a little harder on my on my outfit outfit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, lots of Funko Pops. Um, so I, I, I did, I did mention our, uh, our role-playing group, uh, 4D role-playing, uh, to a lot of these people and uh, a few interested people. I'll, I'll show, uh, some, uh, um, some of the, uh, you know, websites and stuff like that. This was very interesting. There's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, bugs that had been, uh, you know, repurposed for art and a quite a collection of bats there too. That was uh, pretty interesting. And, uh, yeah, lots of t-shirt vendors, that sort of stuff. Uh, you can see the zone in the back. Uh, that's where I have to turn off, ho off the camera, uh, you know, up ahead where I'm approaching. They, they had some security guards there, which were, uh, you know, you can't, you can't take photos um unless you're paying for them uh, these these folks were pretty cool um once again uh these guys abbotsford and uh i'll show uh shown some of the uh some of the dice that they had they have dice with eyeballs in them that if they turn around they, they the eyeball turns with the dice and everything so uh, some pretty cool stuff there uh, i have tons of dice i don't need dice with eyeballs in them but uh they're cool you know um some pretty neat stuff see so try to re re recollect recollect everything that i had uh ran into there oh this was just like um, lots of stuff lots of lots of crafts you know people people you know making the 3d kind of stuff it's a some t-shirts you name it any kind this is pretty much there um there was even a, an area this this guy has some pretty cool stuff here uh ragnar and uh i'm not sure if i show his uh card here but i i will uh put whatever links to their websites down below uh a lot of uh, jewelry, uh, small swords, stuff, weird stuff. Yeah, you know, here we got some uh, cool looking books and uh, looks like some scented uh, candles as well. And uh, yeah, everybody's handing me cards and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put it on the uh, internet here for you. So RagnarTheTrader.com Yeah, lots of lots of homemade stuff. It's crazy. Lots of you know grab bags, that sort of stuff too. It's like, hmm, do I want to? I mean, I we did pick up a uh, uh, we picked up a couple of mugs. Uh, one of them's a Nuka Cola, and the other one was a Game of Thrones. A uh, little bit of a, a saying on there. Uh, I'll show you those once they come up. Um, some pretty neat armbands and stuff there. But, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, yeah, back to the Funko Pops. Like I said, tons of Funko Pops. Now, this is where I had to go ahead and cut off the camera. Because uh, there was, uh, like I said, Forrest Griffin was there. Uh, Trisha from uh, uh, um, Battlestar Galactica was there. Uh, a whole bunch of others. Uh, the con is getting bigger and bigger, so it, it's uh, evolved into both being in 
the stadium where, uh, where where you saw me there was basically the stadium where the uh, hockey team plays. And then we have a little side place called Bonnet's Center. Uh, uh, well, Bonnet's original. It, it was originally called Bonnet's and then the arena. And then it all became Bonnet's afterwards. So I, I kind of see it as two different things, but uh, it's all Bonnet's now. But there's a little side uh, stage area where you can have smaller events. I believe Steel Panther was was playing in there uh, quite a few years ago. I do have some video of Steel Panther uh, playing some of their uh, some of their songs, and uh, it's it's a smaller kind of you know uh, event area. But there was a, there was a lot of people crowded in there too. Kind of the same sort of thing. Uh, once again, a lot more printing stuff. There's some people that did like you know that like the helmets and kind of weird stuff like that. It was pretty cool, you know, weird, but cool, enjoyable. Yeah, what else have I got here? So, yeah, I uh, picked up a couple of uh, couple of items here from, uh, it's called Nitro Greek. And, uh, let's see, his, uh, he does a lot of uh, wood burning. I think he does this all with, uh, like, a cool CNC setup. And uh, there is some cups that I also have here. Show. Uh, my wife's pointing things out <laughs> as she's talking to me. Uh, definitely some of these cups were cool. Like I say, I picked up a large one of the uh, Nuka Cola uh, that you can see there. And the uh, one with the Game of Thrones saying on it. Um, made a made a good afternoon out of it. Stayed there for uh, maybe uh, let's see, uh, about three hours. Yeah, about three hours there. Uh, but I've walked through the whole thing maybe about three four times. Just you know, kind of just when I go through, I'm kind of like checking things out. So I'm walking through. And people, you know, they say, hey, want to take a picture? Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I'll do the pose and, and whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was I was having a good time. Uh, I was amazed at how many people, like, it was usually the older people that recognized what character I was playing. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. Uh, next year, I'll probably go with the longer hair, of course. Uh, I might be able to... Uh, uh, go ahead and make a, uh, a watch uh, for my band. I believe he's got some sort of a Rolex on him in the uh, movie. Uh, so I'll probably 3D print one for that next time. And because uh, it was kind of like spur of the moment kind of thing. I was like, oh, the cons here. I totally forgot about it until uh, last week. And uh, it was just like, oh, OK, I'll pick up some tickets and boom. Figured Saturday's the best day, and, uh, and yeah, and, uh, we went there and had a good time, so it's a lot of fun. Um, there wasn't anything going on there, like games or any, like there wasn't any, like, you know, um, areas where they were actually playing games and stuff like that. I could see that's probably something that they could probably uh, add in there later on. If they can find, you know, people that'll actually uh, game master or GM or DM, uh, but uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's growing, and uh, hopefully, you know, with uh, every year it gets better and better. But uh, yeah, so far, uh, was it like the stuff there wasn't overly expensive? You know, nobody was like super price gouging. Prices are pretty high all around as far as, you know, groceries and, and everything. And uh, you can see that some of the some of the price, uh, like uh, like buying the two glass mugs uh, cost me 40 bucks Canadian. So uh, if you were uh, from the U.S., it'd be about 30 bucks, 30 bucks U.S. If you take our, our prices and and uh, and re reduce them by. Uh, 25 percent you're probably getting about the u.s price in, in canadian uh, currency anyways hope you guys enjoyed whatever this was um but 
yeah, maybe next year I'll, I'll upgrade my uh, costume a bit more and uh, see how it goes from there. It was, it was a blast. I had, had a good time. Wife had a good time, too. Uh, she'll probably kill kill me for uh, uh, showing the video here with her in it, but yeah, <laughs> the sacrifices I have to make. Anyways, you guys take care.